Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, and I mean, if you don't know me, my name's Martin. I work as a delivery driver, working with Uber Eats, Deliveroo, Just Eat, um, and Stuart. Uh, so all the big platforms. Um, I've also just taken a contract with Every, which I'm starting on Thursday. So it's hopefully going to be good. Uh, this video today is all about uh, delivery strikes that have been going on. A lot of people have asked my opinion uh, about it online. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd make a video to say what I actually think. Um, so from my point of view, I agree that all of the delivery firms need to improve. Um, in my area, I can't speak for other people's areas, but in my area, Lately, Deliveroo and Uber especially are really taking the mickey with delivery fees, especially when they know it's quiet. Um, Uber Eats in particular is offering me like £3 runs um, to restaurants where they must be aware that there's always a wait. Uh, £3 runs and it'll be like for like five miles. For me... I think the very least they should be offering is like one pound fifty a mile, and you know they have to appreciate that three pound. You're never going to reach minimum wage if you're taking three pound jobs, unless it's like under a mile and you're walking straight in, straight out with the with the delivery. Um, also, like the other things that the strikers don't seem to be mentioning, which I think are just as important, is like things like support. For me, Deliveroo has very good support. I can always uh, get hold of them pretty well. Um, and they always sort, seem to sort out any issue that I have. So I've got no problem with Deliveroo support. I could say their pay is a bit rubbish at the moment. There's um, never a boost. Obviously, it's just an oversaturation of drivers. Um, but yeah, support, especially with uh, Just Eat. It's just a joke, you know, like, if you've got any kind of issue, they don't really get what you're going on about, put it frankly. They don't and seem to understand their own policies. Um, when it comes to, like, waiting time, uh, Stuart are very good with waiting time, but uh, obviously Uber and Deliveroo pay nothing. And then uh, Just Eat says, you will get paid something. Um... I don't know whether it's like dependent on the restaurant or depending on the day, time of day or what's going on, but I've waited sometimes for 20 minutes and got nothing. And I waited sometimes 20 minutes and got a few quid. So um, generally I don't wait. If it's any more than 10 minutes, I don't see the point because you just don't know how much longer it's going to be. Sometimes you can just gauge when you go into places, but obviously with Just Eat, you can't just reject your own order, which is another thing. I think if you're going to strike, strike for something like that, which is like, by them not letting us reject our orders, you know, that's a big part of being self-employed, isn't it? So, yeah. However, I do agree that there are things that are wrong. However, we are all self-employed. And uh, there's been no vote, no unionized, un no proper unionization, and quite frankly, the delivery companies don't really care about a strike because they don't really recognise it as being legit. I don't think. So, I think it's a bit pointless, and probably a bit damaging, uh, because, in essence, all they're going to do is hire more people and I've already seen that in my area I mean, this is a time of year where normally no one's being onboarded and I'm telling you I've seen so many new people and so many people have told me that they're new and this is the time of year where normally there's no no new riders because of the time of year it's the quietest time of year um other than maybe like the height of summer when people aren't ordering so much. Um, but yeah, there's loads of new people. I think their obvious answer was, okay, well, we've had some days where we haven't been able to fulfil by quite a long way, so 
we need extra riders. So they've taken on loads of more. Um, I've seen that by uh, there being a less volume of orders and also on Just Deep, I used to be able to book pretty much whatever shifts I wanted to a certain extent. Like not whatever shifts I wanted, um, but I could get at least two shifts a day. And in those shifts I would get like maybe at least a guarantee of two orders an hour. Um, but that's just gone. Now it's like everyone's scrabbling around for whatever shifts they can get. Because uh, there seems to be more volume of riders. And um, even when you do have a run, some runs are great and some runs are absolutely awful. Um, but there's also another thing, I hate to say it, but some of the standards of some of the people doing deliveries these days have just gone so far downhill. I mean, my wife was away this weekend, um, so I had vouchers with all three of the companies. I don't really remember why I've had them so long. I think it was Christmas presents, whatever. Um... So I ordered some takeaways for me and the kids and um, all three of the takeaways were meant to be delivered by um, people on bikes. They were all in a car, which is slightly annoying because I mean, I'm paying a lot of money for <laughs> to insure this car for delivery. Um, and obviously these people aren't. And I have been told that, that the reason, a lot of the reason why delivery insurance is so high is because other people aren't insuring and you're more likely to be crashed into by somebody that's not properly insured. I don't know how much there is to that, but that's something I've heard and I'm sure like premiums probably would be lower if people did it properly. Um, and all three of them, well, two of them didn't have a bag whatsoever. They literally took food off their car seat and brought it to the door. And the car, the food was freezing. I mean, there's no way I would order again. Um, for risk of that. And the third guy, like, his bag looked like it was from, like, 1976 or something. Um, so, yeah, my opinion is that, you know, like, it's not really worth striking. I think striking is the wrong way to go about it. A lot of people are saying reject uh, orders under a certain amount, which I think, in practice, is a really good idea. Um, but the problem is a lot of people will, um, obviously not do that, uh, but that is definitely the better idea. Um, the more and more time goes by, the higher, like, I'm not accepting that many orders under, f like, four pound especially these days, unless it's particularly, like, if I'm, if I've taken a delivery which is taking me wildly out, of my area and I've there's like a co-op out there and like they're paying me four quid to drive back I'll take it because I've got to drive there back anyway but yeah if it's like I mean I've had some orders lately they've been like three pound fifteen and it's like taking me like two or th three miles out of where I like to <coughs> pick up from and like that's just not worth it is it but yeah I don't think striking is worth it personally but I'm interested what do you guys think. Please pop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, catch you later.